But it's equally important to see if I can sense my purpose, if I can feel my purpose through my body. And when I start to think about it, it shows me that I can't feel it. Because otherwise, thinking is an emergence of feeling. Like it, it's like a flower bouquet. It comes, it comes with the sensing and the feeling. I feel myself and I can think as one function. But if my mind and my body, are di- my mind and my heart are disconnected, so my mind thinks about me, that's already a sign of absence. And the reverse is true when I see thinking about purpose and I should I do this or should I? And, on, and then often purpose is either connected to career. Often the capitalistic version of purpose is what's my career? And I would like to say that that's not how the mystical knowledge looks at uh, purpose. In the mystical version of purpose, it's it's Purpose is my, the expression of my intelligence plus the integration that's needed in order to manifest that purpose as much as it's possible. So it's always two ways. It's not only my expression in the world, it's the expression plus the integration that is my purpose. It's rewriting my blueprint so that I can fulfill my purpose. And that's why when I ask myself, what's my purpose? Of course, I can envision things and and sometimes that comes through inquiry that I have innovative ideas and I become more creative and I can write things down and I can do like creative writing or creative conversations about my purpose. But it's equally important to see if I can sense my purpose, if I can feel my purpose through my body. So that my thinking is not a bypass to what I can't uh, feel. And if I can't feel it, then that's exactly where I want to start. That I can't feel it is not a mistake. It's my path. It shows me exactly my internal dissociation from my will. And if I, if, if I feel dissociated from my will, it was highly intelligent to do that. So I can... So... Purpose development is, of course, it's also a cognitive process because cognition is part of my purpose, definitely. But it's equally a sensing process. That's what makes sense. Sense Sense-making is the body combined with the mind and the emotions. Interpretation is thinking about Sense, if something makes sense, it, it's true in my body, it's true in my emotions, it's true in my mind, and it's true in my relationships. So the, it's true in all those dimensions. Then it makes sense. It's also not that there is a purpose just for me. It's my purpose. No, my purpose only makes sense with you. My purpose doesn't make sense alone. There is no my purpose alone. And I, and I say this often because it, it was, it's, it's very true when Bruce Springsteen on, in the show on Broadway said, thank you for providing me with purpose. That's an amazing sentence. It's like, you know, the audience, everybody coming to a concert is part of his purpose. There is no Bruce Springsteen alone purpose or anybody, any singer, any actor, we are all part of each other's purpose. It's always an interdependent system. It's never, it's my purpose.
So purpose development is, is of course, an envisioning process. It's a, a dialoguing process. It's a somatic process. And it's a process that makes sense in relation to the world. So then it makes sense, which means it's true in all four directions of the cross. It's the future, the past, and the horizontal world, like 2021. 